Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here. Welcome you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. In our last episode, we uh, saved a kid from a collapsing house that uh, Saban was somehow holding up all by himself. So let's see what's going on today. Saban, you're alive! <laughs> but of course, you think a minor thing like the end of the world was going to do me in? Da, 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 da. I thought everyone was gone. I had given up all hope. But, fortunately, I was wrong! Now I know they're, they're all alive! We need to find everyone! Then... Uh. I know, I know. We smash Kafka and deliver peace into the world. Right. Alrighty then, now that we have Sabin back, I'm gonna take a moment and re-equip my characters. I shall be right back. All right, we're back. I gave uh, Celeste and Sabin their old equipment back and um, gave Sabin the Seraphim Esper so he can learn some healing magic spells since we're going to need those in a bit. All right, let's find out where we are. The Serpent Trench used to be deep underwater. Now it's above sea level. Huh. Well, that's good to know. All right, let's get a move on. I also gave Sabin the Charm Bangle to try to limit out random battles a little bit there. And lo and behold, we get one first step out. And we have a couple new enemies, too. The Gigan Toad there, namely. It uses a move called the Croak. I'm not entirely sure what that does. The uh, Ospreys there will sneeze you out of battle as a counterattack on whoever killed them. And the chin uh, Chitinoid, I'm not entirely sure what they do. Okay, the, the sneeze counter is only sometimes, but they still can. I hope I have enough time to fit this next segment in here because it's a long walk to where we're trying to go. Alright, so let's just get a move on and go as far as we can. You want to come down here and around this way? And we're coming around to this edge of the continent because... And we're back. We're heading up... The, we're on the Serpent Trench right now, actually, I think. Alright. Now, let's go as far as we can, shall we? Alright, we're back. Now, there is a town over to the right there, way to the right, that we could go to, but it's a little far out of the way. We can only, truth be told, the only thing we can really get there right now is an Esper, uh, Fenrir, but I'll, we'll go back there later when it's not so far out of the way. In the meantime, let's just head north. Here we have new enemy, the Bloom Pyre and the Lizard. Uh, the Bloom Pyres there don't have a whole lot of, uh, HP. But they can inflict the poison, and I want to think Confuse on you. And uh, they have a ton of defense, but virtually no HP, as you'll see here. If I can pull off Airblade. Yep. You'll see that it'll only do like 20 damage or something, but it kills them. See there? So that's just something you should know there. Ah, yeah, we got a smoke bomb. Alright, let's head on up this way. Here we have new enemies, the Buffalox and the Delta Bugs. Nothing too threatening. Just use uh, Airblade and you get them. Or just have Celeste, you know, attack them. Uh, the, also, it's important to know, like I said before, the enemies in the World of Ruins start getting a lot more physical defense. Um, and they start using status helmets a whole lot more. So the ribbon starts, become, the ribbon starts to become a little bit more prevalent here. And, uh your physical attacks become a little bit less. But you also start picking up a lot more items that uh, increase your magic block percent, allowing you to have more evasion. And stuff. All right, we're back. Now, what I was saying is uh, you'll start getting more equipment that boosts your magic power and more weapons that ignore defense and things like that. So it's not too big of a deal. All right, we're back. So let's keep, uh, keep on heading up, not left and right. All right. De you want to kind of try to stay out of the deserts for right now, though, because the enemies can get kind of tough in there for right now. Whoa, yo. That's a big desert there. Ha-ha! But we're almost there. Alright, we're back. 
and here we have another town. Let's check it out. Let's see what town this is. Wow, it's Nakia. Sweet. Alright, doesn't look like there's any uh, treasure here beyond that. Alright, now another reason I decided to come here first is because we can actually get a chocobo and go back to the other town that I was referring to. But another reason I wanted to come here is because we can get some amazing gear. Like this. I'm going to buy two of these. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Now, let's keep it... Remember, Celeste has a Genji glove equipped, meaning she can equip them both. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is watch this. Yes. You see what it does? Look at there. Look at her magic block percent now. And her magic defense. These swords are amazing for that. Now, let's see what other weapons they have here. And I have a ton of money from all that grinding I did just before the World of the Ruin, or uh, the, uh, what you call it, the Floating Continent there. We can also buy the uh, Elemental Swords here as well. I think they have some pretty good armor here too. Talk to you and let's find out. Ooh, buddy. Lots of nice stuff here. More Gaia gear if you missed it before. Let's see. I'll buy a diamond vest for saving there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll not worry about the armor because none of Celeste. Oh well, Celeste. I've already got her set up how I want her. Then, uh, well, let's check the relic shop. They might have some interesting things there now. Uh, well, here's the item shop. Or relic. So, I know there's a relic shop here somewhere. Ah, uh, okay, good. This That's the weapon shop, or item shop. Alright, let's see. There's the armor shop. Oh, yeah, the little kid has the relics. That's right. Uh, Zarina Ring. What's this? Safe in shell when HP is low. Gale Hairpin. Okay. Cure Ring. Nice. Those come in handy. Alright. Alright, let's go into the pub and see what's going down. I've been chatting with the boss of this gang, Gerard. He's kind of handsome. Our last boss perished that day. And we found Jared. Wait a second. Jared. Hmm. That's interesting. Talk to this guy over here. We'll enter the castle through a secret cave that only we know about knows about. Let me try that again. We'll enter the castle through a secret cave that only we know us about. <laughs> Something about huge sandstorms there. Hey, out of the door, sir. Thank you. Ah, come down here. Do a little exploring, shall we? What's we got? Whoops. Belongs to the Crimson Robbers. Okay. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> Head on into the pub. And talk to you. I wanted to sneak into Figaro Castle, but booty. Alright, let's go. Let's go where? Run up here. Hey, I know you. What's your problem? Y you're Edgar, aren't you? <laughs> I was blocking his path. <laughs> Edgar. Enough of this nonsense. I have things to do. Um, okay. I'll be busy getting ready for our departure to Figaro. Don't play possum with me, Edgar. Or have you somehow lost your memory? Listen, my lady. I've been Jared all my life. Only Edgar would say, my lady. Don't! Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's all the bloomin' fuss about? The words my lady are used the world over. Um, okay. Well, alright guys, that's pretty much a clue of our next segment of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Hope you've been enjoying these. Sorry this episode wasn't all that entertaining, but we'll do better next time. Thank you for watching, and uh, this is Whitemage Serenia saying take care. Have a nice day, everyone.